paddling. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Toy from a Classy Sassy Teacher. I know it has been a while since I've done a video. If you have not seen my hiatus slash planner update, please go check that out because I won't be going into details of why I took a YouTube hiatus in this video because um, I have a lot of planner slash teachers um, out there. So hopefully that you've already watched that. And if not, there is a link at the end of this video and a card as well as a card coming up across the screen to just kind of give you updates on why I took a hiatus from YouTube. So now that I've said that, I want to talk about the title of this video, Reflections of a First Year First Grade Teacher. And I want to talk about my um, first part of the year. So a full semester is done and I have been teaching first graders for five months and I have some things to say. So let's talk about... Um, I'm going to talk about things that I loved, things that I didn't like so much, and plans for the new year. So here we go. <laughs> what I love about first grade is basically that the babies are really sweet and they really want to love on you. And many of them really want to learn. And I love that. Um, what I love about the curriculum that I'm teaching I'm building a foundation for them and if I am successful at doing so, it will help them many years to come. And I love that part. And thirdly, there's so many fun things and cute things that I can do with my kiddos um, at first grade in the first grade level. And for those of you who don't know a little bit about my previous teaching experience has been basically upper grades. The lowest grade I've ever taught is fourth and this is um, my first time teaching below um, third grade so um, there are many pluses and minuses to both of those situations um, but I love the cute things that I can do with my kids and how excited they get when we do new things things that I would think um, is simple to them I guess um, it's great With that being said, some things that I don't like is coming from upper to lower, there's not any gap for independence. There's no, there's nothing that I can tell them and all of them be able to do it. It is, it is a lot of hand holding and I'm not used to that and I don't know if I like it. Is that weird? Um, I don't know if that is, um, something I could ever get used to but saying that I really want to give first grade two to three years and then um, I want to try second and third grade and find my um, my comfort zone my my perfect place because there's so much that you can love about every grade um, the next thing that I don't like so much is responsibility um, there's a tattling tattling yeah I um, that is the thing that I dislike the most it's a lot of tattling and he said she said and oh my goodness and a lot of tapping and I don't really <laughs> care for that kind of stuff um, but I know that they're babies but it, it was a very deep learning curve for me when those things um, came about <laughs> Um, thinking about what I want to do going forth, um, I want to continue to reiterate and teach um, tattling procedures. I use a book called Tattle Tongue. I will leave a link below for Amazon for you to check that out. It's a great book. Um, kids really learn a lot from the Tattle Tongue and it gives you a four step process. Um, and I'm going to have that posted in my room um, when we come back. Also, I want to spend more time in small groups and less time in whole group. And that's something that I'm going to do a separate video on. Um, but I am really just watching all of the webinars that I can find and chiming in on chats and discussions. And if you guys know of any, please leave a link in the description. Leave a link in the comments below and I'll be happy to check it out. Um, but I just want to minimize whole group and spend a lot of time with small groups. Because I can already tell those um, 
students that are very low that if I don't catch them in January and February, um, then it, they won't have a successful year. And I'm all about succeeding with 100% because, um, and I know it's not always possible but I want to do everything I can to hit as close to that 100 mark as possible I don't want to leave any kids behind um so yeah so I will be doing vlogs in the upcoming school year it'll probably be one video a week for teaching one for planning um and I'll go into deep and I went into detail about that in the um where have I been slash planner update video so make sure you check that out um just so that I can have some life work hobby balance i guess you could say so guys i am actually getting ready to head out for christmas break but i wanted to hop on in my classroom and do this video and then give you guys a quick walkthrough before i leave so i'm gonna do that walkthrough for you guys and i'm gonna come back so as you can see i have taken down my um tp it was in the back of the room, but I shifted some things. Um, the TP is not really working for my room, so I'm actually gonna get some pillows and things and put those down in a rug, and that's gonna be our reading center, and I'm gonna take my TP home. This is just my small group board. I just pushed it over in the corner. Typically, it's right here if I'm teaching something and they're at their desk writing it. Um, this was for, as you can see, I haven't updated the date or cleaned off my board, and I'm not going to do it. This is my um, spelling and phonics um, pocket chart. That's where I put all of our spelling words and our phonics skills for the week. This is my focus wall for reading. Um, I had some girls pick up that, and they turned it sideways, but it should be up and down. So as you can see, I'm missing my essential question, and I'll be putting all of that up when I come back to school. Um, this is my math focus wall. Neither one of them have a label, so I definitely want to get that done, and I'll be doing that over the break. And that's where all of our vocabulary words and our skills that we are working on. Um, on my blinds, as you guys can see, I have some um, anchor charts for some skills that we've been working on. This is my writing center. I just have a, a board pressed up against there. And what I have here is some must-do, may-do, turn-in um, buckets. If you guys want this, I will leave um, a link to my TPT. And you guys can grab those, and they are free. This is the most unorganized area in my room. And I don't have time to, like, just take the time to organize. So that's one thing that I want to work on um, in the upcoming year. So I just have lots of supplies over here. This needs to go home with me today. I have lots of supplies down here and storage space. But it just needs to be organized. Finally, my computer area is back here. It's very crammed. I'm planning on doing something about that. My small group area and my teacher area where I just kind of keep everything there. And I do have my filing cabinet turned backwards. That way I can kind of use it as um, a magnetic space. And then I can come over here for anything that I need. And in my small group area, I just have a few buckets and baskets that I can use. And this is their cubbies. And then I'm going to go up here and stand on my stage. So you guys can see I have like a U within a U in my room. But I'm going to change it up because it's very crowded. I have 23 students in a very small space. Thank you so much guys for sticking with me. Even though I have been missing in action, I really appreciate it. Um, I will have some videos coming up for planning and possibly um, one before New Year's for teaching. Maybe not. But there will definitely be a blog posted um in January in the new year so if you guys just follow my channel for the teaching um, vlogs and videos I thank you so much and I will see you in the new year if you are a planner babe slash teacher friends I will see you very soon for some planner update videos and if you're just a planner same deal thanks so much for watching keep God first in everything you do and remember to teach with lots of class and sass bye guys